guys, I'm LDP and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make your own set of three different pristine gifts. I think these would make a really lovely Christmas or birthday gift for anyone who loves pristine and you could make all three of them or just make one of them as a gift which I think would be really nice. Anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the DIY. To make your own pristine jar, you will need a glass jar, some paper clay or other clay, some spray paint, black and white acrylic paints, and some glue. Start by making your pusheen out of the paper clay. Keep the lid close by to ensure your pusheen will not be too big or too small for your jar. The pusheen is basically just going to be a rounded lump of clay until you add the ears and arms. Add two little triangular pieces of clay as ears, attaching them with a bit of water and smoothing the attached area with a toothpick and your fingers. Use a toothpick to mark where the eyes should be and add a small indent for the mouth and then add two balls of clay for the eyes. Add two arms from clay in the same way that you added the ears and then leave your machine to dry. I left my machine for about 24 hours before starting to paint it, but this will depend on the type of clay that you're using. While your machine dries, spray paint the lid of your jar your desired colour and leave it to dry. When your machine is completely dry, paint it grey. Add black for the eyes and mouth and some dark grey stripes on the head. Add a tail at the back with black paint and add some stripes to it with dark grey paint. Finally, add two white dots on the eyes to complete the face. To attach your machine to the lid of the jar, place the lid on the jar and glue the machine into place to make sure it's facing the right direction. Finally, fill up your jar with sweets and your Pusheen candy jar is complete. To make your Pusheen mug, you'll need a plain grey mug, a ceramic liner and some fine liners. Start by drawing your Pusheen face on in fine liner to get an idea of the spacing and what your mug will look like. Trace over the fine liner with your ceramic liner and follow the instructions for setting it. Mine had to be baked in the oven for 40 minutes. Once your liner has been set, let your mug cool and your mug is complete. To make your pusheen socks, you will need three grey socks, a laundry pen or fabric marker, a scrap of dark grey felt, some grey thread and some basic sewing supplies such as pins, needles and scissors. Start by deciding how large you want the ears to be. I just drew a triangle on a post-it note and cut it out to get an idea of the ear size. Next, place this ear template on one of your socks and cut it out, leaving a small seam allowance. This will leave you with two triangles, which will become one ear. Repeat this three more times so that you have eight triangular pieces in total. Place two triangles together with their right sides facing and pin them. Hand stitch the two pieces together and secure this with a knot. Repeat this for the other three ears too. 
After stitching the ears, trim down the seam allowance and turn them right side out. Stretch the sock and draw on the face using the fabric marker. Stretching it stops the face from becoming distorted when you actually wear the sock. Place the ear behind the sock with the point sticking out and hand stitch it on. Repeat this step for all four ears. Cut three tiny stripes from the dark grey felt and stitch or glue these on, repeating this for both socks and then your pusheen socks are complete. 